Morning guys, Buckskin Dave here. Well, I ain't got much to report this morning, but grab you a cup of coffee and uh, I'll show you where I'm at with this. I got a piece of wood the other day and uh, it's a uh, this is what a piece of wood would look like that was pre-cut for that rifle but not finished. And you could also buy finished stuff. But <clears throat> the way the action comes down, they make this kind of high. And it's got a really nice cheek rest, beaver tail cheek rest. But what I've done is if I can Okay, so if I put this, see I want to put this on the back of here and of course make it, it's probably a quarter of an inch thinner than the thick, the width of this. And then fit that around there. If I could take enough off of the top here so that, and, I, and it looks like I can, it looks like I'm going to have enough wood to put that in the front, um, this is going to work. So, one of the horrid things about these rolling blocks is what you have to do here. And there's this lip that sticks out on both sides that kind of goes over the wood. And you have to, looks like I'm going to have to cut that in there. And that's going to take a little bit. Um, kind of kind of gives me vertigo or something because I put it in here and I'm looking at it and it's and then I take the metal out to do some chiseling and I can't figure out which way I need to go with it but anyway I'm gonna start working on that I've got this top piece inleted pretty good and I might have to build something to hold this but then it'll be on there like so. You can see where I'm going to have to, where I'm going to have to fit that around there. And what I didn't realize is I have, look how much I have on the bottom here. So that's going to give me plenty to make this into a, uh, into a Hawkins style sh uh, stock. And then I'll have to buy a piece of walnut for the front. I would say these were probably made with walnut. I'm not sure of that. But uh, these might have been stocked with walnut. Anyway, that's that section. And probably it's getting towards... I probably won't get to this today because i got some other stuff to do. And But that's next and then I have to drill a hole and then fit the bottom piece and on that note here's that bottom metal and I've taken the trigger out and I got my trigger by the way yep I got anything you know for as old as these parts are that's kind of a new looking trigger anyway I got my trigger but the company that I got that trigger from also has these and they're not uh, originals there's a company out there called star and they make some of these parts so they make one of these I found one of these they're not I found people that sell stuff that's made by this company star I can't find the co company star so I don't know if they're even still in business anyhow <clears throat> what I'm going to try to do is take this loop off of that and machine this machine this level and then of course we have our trigger guard it's threaded here and then you're we gotta have to cut these off and put the hawk and trigger guard on well like so it'll get screwed on there and then this back part here I have to put a hole in the top here and it'll have to get screwed into the wood. So then it'll have the hawk and now this is an older um, trigger guard and I may just get the newer one that kind of comes out wider here. 
but I have this one and this one would probably be correct so I'm gonna put that on there so that's where I'm at with it I kind of think when they built this gun um, when they made this Gemmer Hawken I'm kind of thinking that you can probably I haven't seen an original yet so I don't even know what what they what they did or what they look like but they probably use stuff on hand um, they, they probably got the action and they went okay we got to deal with this and they got a piece of wood and they cut it piece of this put a barrel on it they probably worked with stuff they had on hand so just like if they built a Carson rifle Carson style rifle and uh, they had a bunch of the old older earlier type trigger guards they might have used them on there why not so with this coming in at that time I'm wondering if there is no real uh, historical way these were put together they could have been just put together with what was on hand so anyway that's where I'm at with it so far I'm gonna work on this a little bit but I, I don't think I'm gonna get it done today and uh, and then once I get it fitted then I'm gonna go ahead and cut this stock and start shaking so the first thing I'm trying to do is this thing has an angle this way and this way to this centerpiece and the centerpiece goes inside of the receiver a little so I'm going to try to get this angle first to where that's there's a space there and then I'll trim this and kind of bring it back into that angle is which way I'm going with it and I'm using my black my lamp black because you can't see where it's high in there and uh, I'll tell you what I've got to sharpen up these uh, tools for this walnut this is some hard hard wood to work with I can't say that I've done much with hard hardwood uh, with hard walnut but it seems to be going okay so the other thing is this this area back here okay I've got it now to where it's hitting here and there's space here so I have to bring this back slowly also and uh, I got a little curve chisel here that's helping me work that and I don't want to go too far I just want to go a little bit each time this is going to be one of those things where that's got to come back that's got to come back everything's got to in different areas has got to fit all at the yeah. same time when this it's right. This side here is almost touching. So that's what I'm working at. And I got to lay off on this edge. This side here isn't close. This side here is next. See, I have to take a little back here, <laughs> then bring that back till this touches, and then take the little bit off there until that comes back and hits it. It's just a, it's a little bit of the time process. So, but it's coming and I'm almost there and I've gotten to the point actually where I'm actually using a file um, to keep this rounded. I want this to be nice and rounded here. So I'm using a file and then this surface too is getting deep and it, there's a part in there that we don't want it to rub on. So that's how we're going back and then like I say I'm using a file to keep these there's two or three angles that I have to keep kind of track of and so just a little bit of lamp black and a little here and there well I put as much work on it as I have time for this morning so anyway Get you a cup of coffee and uh, that'll be it for this episode. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this out uh, Saturday morning when we have our cup of coffee again. Um, this will be fitted, the bottom will be fitted, and we'll be ready to cut this stock out and start shaping it. So that'll be kind of fun. So stick with me, stay tuned, 
and uh, I'll see you Saturday morning. We'll have a cup of coffee and we'll get this thing a little bit better, a little bit further along. You guys have a great day. Bye.